you want to feel like a winner, then fuel up like your favorite athlete. We've got Chef Jersey here. She's cooked up or cooked for some of the biggest names in football, the stars, and she joins us with her secret to their success food, exactly. right? Exactly. So if I eat your food, I could be a professional athlete? I don't know about that, but I'll try. I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure I liked how you looked at me like that was all dismissive. That, okay, fair enough. But you've cooked for some of the professional athletes, helping yeah. them get ready and stay in shape. Yes. Um, you were telling me during the break it's different depending on who it is. They eat differently, obviously. Yes. Yeah, so every player has a, uh, they all have a different job. So um, it really depends on their job and what they do. Some need to lose weight and some need to gain weight and some need to maintain their weight. So okay. that's how we go about it. So this specific meal, um, it's a 16-week meal plan. Okay. It was actually developed by a chef, um, nutritionist, and a dietitian for that specific person. Um, so nice. it's, it's very good. I mean, it's very healthy, but it also has a lot of flavor to it. Unlike some healthy foods, it tends yeah. to be very bland. Yeah. You don't have to worry about this. Eating healthy is a struggle. We don't want it to be like that. No, it's flavorful. All right, so what we got down at this end? So we have a bacon and spinach frittata. Um, a frittata is very different as a quiche. A frittata does not have a pasta or not a pasta that doesn't have a crust. A frittata is pretty much like a thick omelet. It is cooked in a omelet pan and then okay. it's finished off in an oven. That's like, that's, that's fairly easy to make. Yeah, it's fairly easy. Okay, and it's got bacon in it, so that yes. means it's going to taste delicious. Exactly. <laughs> All right, moving down the line. Then we have some salmon, some baked salmon, and some, cauli um, some cauliflower. So the cauliflower is really just seasoned with just a little tad bit of sea salt, some pepper, and some cumin. That's where you get that delicious flavor from. And in the salmon, we keep it simple. We like to just do salt and pepper and some lemon. And there's enough there that you can go ahead and eat mm -hmm. and be full. You're not sitting there eating just like exactly. rabbit food. Exactly. Now, we do have a salad here. Yes. I like to eat the salad, but like you said before, I struggle to get it flavorful. So tell me how I'm going to make it flavorful. So we have a mixed green salad here. We have some radishes. We have some um, nuts here or some seeds. I'm sorry. Then we have some oranges. Um, you can add lemons to it. And also you can add some fruit to it. You can add some dried cranberries, some golden raisins. Okay. That'll give it a nice little sweet flavor to it. And you can also add some more nuts in there if you'd like. Okay. And you make the special dressing and add yeah. all this stuff to it. So the dressing is we have some of the orange juice. And then we're going to squeeze some lemon juice in there. Okay. You're too acting like you've been ready to hand it to me. <laughs> All right. So we go lemon juice in there. Yep. And then we're just going to add some oil to that. Okay. And then while we add in the oil to it, we're going to go ahead and just whisk that out. And that's really just your dressing. Lemon juice, oranges, and oil. Yep. And then you add a little bit of salt and pepper, and then you just toss your dressing in there. All right. I, I can do that. I'm following this. And then what? Like an energy bar kind of snack? Exactly. So this is your energy bar, and it's very, very simple. It's three ingredients, and there's no baking. So All you're right. going to have about a cup of your favorite nuts. You can do whatever, cashews, peanuts, walnuts, anything that you like. And then we have some honey. You need to make sure that your honey is pure honey. You don't okay. want to have any of that fake stuff where it is made with, like, corn syrup and other stuff. We need right. some real honey. Expensive honey. Yes, the right. expensive stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then, you know, keep it organic. We have some organic shredded coconut. So you just mix all those together. You keep pointing to it like, I'm going to make this. Come on, you can so, do it. All this. right, let's do this real quick. So we put the honey in there. Yep. We go, she's trying to prove that I, I can actually do this. We go honey, we go all the coconut. Yep. All the coconut in there. Mix and it then together. You just mix. Yep. And then the camera looks away, mm -hmm. and this is what it looks like Voila. when I get finished. This is what I made <laughs> through the magic of TV. Wow, I'm, I'm good like this. I'm going to eat it. It's delicious. Thank you very much, You're Chef welcome. Jersey. <laughs>